My name is Vito Scaletta. I was born in Sicily in 1925. That little guy's me. I'm standing there with my parents and my sister Francesca in front of our old house. I don't really remember too much about the old country, except that we were pretty hard up. And then one day my father decided it was time to move away. Away from Sicily, across the ocean, to start a new life in America. Never in my life had I seen anything as fantastic as Empire Bay. It was beautiful. On the other hand, I'd never seen anything filthier, more disgusting than our new shithole of an apartment. The American Dream. It was more like a nightmare. My father started working at the port for the guy who arranged our immigration. It was backbreaking work, and what little money he made mostly went towards booze. Eventually, my parents sent me to school. I had to learn English. I sure as hell wasn't gonna do that in a neighborhood full of Italians. That's where I met Joe. Come on, Vito, hurry it up. We ain't got all night. Over time, Joe and I got to be best friends. And since we were both poor and there wasn't much work around, oh shit, we started a little business of our own. Freeze! Police! Stop! Vito, this way! Throw me to bed! Stop! Run and shoot! Shit. Okay, you bastard. Spread your legs. Fuck. Now put your hands on the fence. I'm sorry. Well, that one time it didn't work out so good. The year was 1943. America was at war. And the army was looking for guys who spoke the language to help with the invasion of Sicily. I was 18. And anything seemed better than jail. Who says you can't go home again? Operation Husky. I was assigned to the 504th Parachute Infantry. On the 11th of July, we were supposed to be dropped over the southern coast of Sicily. But we got hit by flak and had to bail out. Way behind enemy lines. Only three of us made it. If it wasn't for the local resistance, we wouldn't have had a chance. So when most of the soldiers came into the town and started rounding everybody up, we decided to return to faith. Se nessuno parla, quest'uomo morirà. Eh? Eh? All right, Scaletta. Allora, Take traditori, pensavate di poter giocare con noi? Di tradirci? Avete pensato male? What the hell are you waiting for? Take out the guy on the steps. Gli altri c'è nella resistenza. Rispondetemi, bastardi! O farò incendiare rade al suolo questo paese di merda! Here, Scaletta. Get your ass up here, Scaletta. Shit! I Look did. out! I did. Shit! Ah. Too much! Jesus! Ah. 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 Ah
This guy's saying there's more troops headed this way. Terrific. All right. You and Williams take out that MG, then find the prisoners. We're gonna need every man we can get. Double. Thank you. Ain't getting through this way. Watch it! You've got a grenade, Stalana! This would be a great fucking time to use it! Put a grenade through the window! Stalana! You alive? Yeah, just about. Well then get off your ass and let's move. Whoa. Oh, grab all the ammo you can carry. This might be our last chance. Must have the prisoners upstairs. Clear the second floor. Scaletta, you take point. Uccidete gli ostaggi! Sette morti! Got him. Arrenditi, o gli faccio... Shit. Looks like we're going this way. Come on. Then. I can't see. Oh, shit. How many of these fuckers are there? Get the fuck out of here. What the hell is it look like out here? Hey, you know, hey, more shoes and less talk. Hey, find my hey, me, ass. You okay? The moon is about out. Manaboli al inferno. Shit. This balcony isn't gonna work. We gotta keep moving. Let's get inside. Accelerate, bastante. Get inside, Scaletta! You're gonna die out there! I will never assist you! Arrivo, no, I will never assist you! What that are the balls? Let's go! Get on that machine gun! That trap off! See the gun in the back of the universe! Get on it! di stare attento fregatene di fare attenzione fai ciò che ti è stato detto Un congetto quando siamo arretati come cucina. Ma chi è quello? Lo conoscete? Eh, lo conoscono tutti. Don Calò è un uomo d'onore. È uno stupido trucco degli americani, non ditemi che gli credete. No, è davvero Don Calò. Ogni tanto dovessi ascoltare i consigli di noi altri del posto. Ci rendiamo? Sapete che potete affidarvi di me? Che ne dite, eh? Don Calò, the head of the Sicilian mob. An entire garrison of troops surrendered that day. Why? because he told them to.
few years later, the Nazis put a bullet in me. I was in the hospital for a bit, and I got a month's leave so I could go home. At least for a little while. Welcome home, buddy. How'd you know? I got my sauces. Come on, let's take a ride. Nice car. Comes with the territory. I know you're itching to get home, but first, let's get a beer. Yeah, sure. There it is. Empire Bay. Tell the truth, you miss it? Hey, does a bear shit in the woods? Not like this place ever done me any favors, but anything's better than a foxhole. What's with this shitty weather? They're saying this is the coldest winter on record. Papers say it's gonna keep up like this for weeks. Don't worry, though, a drink will warm you right up. How long's it been since we had a drink together, Vito? Two years? Almost three. Tony Cicelli's party, right? Come on, Vito, come on. The last drink we had together was right after your romance funeral. Right before you shipped out. You remember. Ah, oh, five minutes. We're already talking about my deadbeat father. Can we change the subject, please? So tell me, pal. What was it like over there, anyway? I kept reading the papers to see what was going on. And you know how much I hate reading? Yeah, I know. You guys kicked Mussolini's ass, right? Ah, uh, sort of. We had a little help from a guy named Don Carlo. No shit. Don Carlo. I heard of him. Really? You bet. I know guys like him over here, wise guys. You work for them, you set. You fuck with them, you die. Nice to see you've been busy. Yeah, and I heard you got a medal, right? From old man Patton himself. Whoa, so you're a real war hero, huh? <laughs> and then what? You screwed a couple of Sicilian broads and came home? Yeah, right. <laughs> the old country. Over here, you can screw anything with a heartbeat. No one gives a shit. What a country. Here's to the U.S. of A. and to having you back home. Salud. Ah, salud. The chin down. So how come you're back? They let you out early for good behavior? Nah, I took a bullet a couple months back, spent some time in the hospital, and now I'm on leave. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you gotta go back? <laughs> What'd you think? The war ain't over yet. You don't want to go back, do you? Nah, of course not, but what can I do? One minute. Wait right here. Both mother and daughter Working for the Yankee dollar Hey, Giuseppe, it's Joe. Remember uh, last week, you know, the, guy, the, the guy's name is uh, Vito Scaletta. Thanks, Giuseppe. All right, I'll see you later. Okay, listen up. It appears that your injury is much more serious than it first appeared, and the doctors say you can't fight no more. What? Oh, whoa, whoa. did you just... Like I said, I know people. You get all the official paperwork tomorrow. When it comes to the right stamps and signatures, it's just a question of money. You're kidding me, right? <laughs> Isn't that a bit risky? It's me that could end up in a slammer, you know? And how am I gonna pay for it? I got it covered. Think of it as a welcome home present. And don't worry, the documents will be clean. Trust me. Well, thanks. You're welcome. Como no fraud, you're like a brother to me. Now you can start thinking about what you're gonna do next. Sure. But first, I gotta go home. All right, you wanna ride? No, thanks. I wanna walk around a little, see what's changed since I've been gone. No problem. Say hello to your sister for me. Come see me tomorrow. We got a lot to talk about. I can't believe you just got me out of the service. Thanks again. No problem. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Thanks, the keep the change. But the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place Hey, what's to the good go, word? How you doing, snow, soldier? Snow, snow, a lot better now that I'm home. Hey, you want leave or home for good? That's, uh, classified. So, uh, what's new around here? The Tell the truth, not much. Low. Everybody just wants Let the war snow. to be over. And they're saying this is the coldest winter on record. I wish I had some good news. Yeah, you and me both. All right, I'll see you. 
Catch you later, buddy. Hold me tight. All the way home I'll be warm. And the fire is slowly dying. And my dear, we're still goodbye. But hey, Vito, look who's back. So You're looking pretty good for a guy who just gets shot. Hey, Lisa, how you doing? Francesca said you were coming back. Finally, some good news, eh? Yeah, no kidding. It's good to be back. You know, I'm real glad you're all right. The neighborhood just wasn't the same without you. Well, everything still looks the same around here, including you. So, uh, when what are you doing? Finally hey, you know, the usual night. cooking dinner for Tony and the kids. Oh, you got married? Boy, you didn't waste any time, huh? Get out of my face. Come on, Vito. I'm 21 years old here. Of course I'm married with two kids. Yeah, well, it was real good seeing you. Say hello to your mother for me, will you? And my dear, we're still goodbye. But as long as you love us, uh, what so, you are having today? Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. This is, uh... Vito? It is you! You look so handsome in that uniform! Your mother must be so proud! Uh... And what about poor Salvatore Montemaggiore? How's he doing? His poor mother was expecting him home a week ago! Yeah, uh... Sal joined the Navy. I'm in the Army. It's different. Why don't you come inside and have some tea with me, Vito? You could tell me all about it. Thanks, but I'm kind of in a hurry. Uh, I just got back, and I can't wait to see my mother and Frankie. Such a pretty girl, that Francesca. It's a wonder she's not married yet. Well, say hello to your mother for me, Vito. Hey. Sergeant, stand too close. Get the hell out of here. Stay in business. Wow, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, the war's not your fault, Vito. Who knows? Maybe when the war ends, I'll open up again. Well, uh, good luck then. Hey, thanks, kid. Good evening. Oh, what are you, some kind of pervert? What are you, lonely soldier boy?
Hey, pal, do you mind? See you next time. See Mama and Francesca forever. Hi, Mama. I'm back. Vito, Vito, my boy. <laughs> My boy's home. I thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> Francesca and me, we wait. Hey, sis, what's going and on? We wait for you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Sit down, sit down. You must be hungry, Vito. Francesca made you a special dinner. Zuppa di pollo. It's good for you. Wow, looks good, Frankie. It's a shame your papa didn't live to see this. He would be so proud, Vito. Yeah, sure. Vito, you know better. Sorry, Mama, sorry. Benedice, signore, non c'è che fatta volontà. Stiamo ricevendo, provvedendo a tutto il cucino di noi. You should get some sleep. Your room is just like you left it. <sighs> so how you two been? Franny, what have you been up to? I still live here with Mama. I got a nice office job. It pays the bills, and I started paying off some of Papa's debts. Francesca, we don't want to talk about that now. How are you, mio bandino? It must have been so terrible. I was so afraid. I prayed for you every day. I'm okay, Ma. I drove a jeep most of the time. Sometimes I had a fight. So, uh, you got a boyfriend yet? Not yet. What's that? The boys in the neighborhood these days are not so good. She'll meet the right man one day. I'll see you two in the morning. Sleep well, mio bambino. This ain't gonna cut it. I gotta find a place to stay. <laughs> 